Alright, so I was having problems with my Gore-Tex boots after just a couple of months. The Gore-Tex would either wear or rip and they weren't waterproof anymore. Um, and there's no way really to repair it. Uh, so I went online and I was looking for a way to make my leather boots waterproof. Um, I actually like these better anyways. And I ran, a couple years ago I ran across a post by a hunting guide in Alaska and he said that he waxes his leather boots um, and it lasts for two, three months. They look really nice. And I tried it about a year ago and I've been doing it now. I've been waxing these boots um, every couple months and they stay waterproof, like he said, for uh, depending on how much you're walking them, I mean, anywhere between a month and three months, they'll stay waterproof if you're wearing them every day. Um, the other benefit is that they uh, look brand new. Like, I don't know if you can see how bad a shape these two pair of boots are that we're going to do. Um, when we're done with this, it takes about 30 minutes a pair to do them. Uh, when we're done with this, these boots will look almost brand new and they'll be extremely waterproof. And we'll show it on video how it, how the water just beads off of them. Um, all you need is a dollar sixty-two, so one dollar and sixty-two cent wax ring. That was after tax from Home Depot. Um, you need a heat gun. And today we're going to, which not everybody has, you can get these at Harbor Freight for about 15 bucks um, or on Amazon. And we'll put a link to these so you can kind of see what we're doing. And we're going to try today using a hair dryer and see if that works. Because I know all of you guys might be able to find one of these uh, in your wife's drawer in the bathroom. So we'll see if it works. If it does, we'll let you know at the end of the video if the hair dryer works. Um, all you're going to do is take your wax ring and a cloth or a piece of scrap rag that you don't care about because it is going to get ruined. Um, can't rip that. You're going to take a big chunk of the wax, put it on your finger like this, and then you're going to take the heat gun and you're going to heat your boot up, don't burn it, get it nice and hot, and you're going to rub that wax in the boot, boot and you'll actually see the wax start getting soaked into the leather. When it slows down, it'll start doing it real, it'll do it real fast at first and then it'll start slowing down. Your leather is pretty much all uh, the wax is seeped into the leather and you're done. Um, do that all the way around the boot. Um, you can do it lighter up here. You don't really, this doesn't really have to be too waterproof up here, but it does look nice. Um, and then don't forget to get your seams in here. Get wax down in there. Uh, and you can use a heat gun to hit it and then kind of make the wax run around the seams right here. Um, but yeah, we're going to shoot a video show you guys how to do this. It's probably one of the nicer things I've, uh, I've learned over the years off Google. Uh, pertaining to outdoors. Pretty neat little idea. So again, one more time, this right here from Home Depot, this whole project costs $1.62 if you already have a heat gun. If you don't, add 15 bucks to it. Alright, so we're done with the waterproofing of the boots project. <clears throat> um, you can tell if you look at the beginning of the video, these look way, way better. Um, so one nice thing is if you got somewhere to go where your boots need to be looking nice and you shine them up, might as well use wax and waterproof them while you're at it. Uh, the hair dryer, it did melt the wax, but it didn't heat the boot up enough for the leather to absorb the wax. It just kind of sat on top. So in a pinch, you could use it. It wouldn't last very long. Um, the heat gun, you basically heat the boot up, glob on the wax all over the boot, and, uh, and then come back with the heat gun on the wax, and the, the leather will pull the wax into the boot. I did it twice, I think Jeremiah did it twice too. 
Uh, so we got two coats of wax in there sunk into the leather and then after the boot cooled down we used our old rags, rags that had the wax ring residue on it and wiped them down one last time just to give them a little shine. So that's what they look like uh, when they're done and let's go and see how it performs now. I just want to see if it actually works. Heck yeah, it works. Your buddy Jake would lie to you. See, it's like beating off. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's you're gonna get all over you. <laughs> and it's hard to get off too because now your hands are gonna be waterproof. <laughs> 